Hey guys, so I haven't done a video in a while, I've been busy. Little piddly projects and shit. Well, last time I did a video on the old Massey here, the old 65 Massey Ferguson 203, um, I had fixed the, uh, the rotary cylinder here. Never done anything like that before. I'm not a hydraulic uh, mechanic or or even a diesel mechanic for that matter. <laughs> But uh, it was pretty straightforward in replacing the seals in that thing and getting this backhoe to swing right and left again and works perfect. This thing was runs like a scolded ape. Well, it was three months ago. So the issue I'm having, charged up the battery, um, put some fresh fuel in it because I drained all the fuel out for the winter. Um, like I said, parked it about three months ago. Perfect running, smooth. No smoking, no nothing. Well, I charged up the battery, put it in there. I did bleed the uh, the lines because, you know, they, they tend to uh, uh, get some air in the lines if they sit for a while or whatever. Um, it does have a leak on the uh, fuel pump, a little O-ring on this lever here, but uh, down here. So it leaks fuel a little bit. No big deal. It's fired up every time. This go around, I went to... Uh, kicker in the guts and uh, I got maybe a, like a quarter of a turn the starter engaged the engine kind of turned and then stopped like it just stuck I mean it could be the starter I haven't pulled the starter on it yet but uh, something I'll probably end up doing but the starter does the starter does uh, click and is getting power and you can hear the Bendix pop out and actually clunk against the uh, flywheel but uh, the engine just doesn't turn. So I don't know much about diesels. This is one of those Perkins AD, uh, AD3 152 three-cylinder diesel engines in this thing. Pretty common engine, I guess. Uh, shit, rebuild, complete engine rebuild kits for this thing are pretty cheap. You know, a couple hundred bucks. I don't want to pull the engine out of this thing. All else fails, I'll pull the cover off. I'm going to look at the valves. Uh, I'm going to pull the uh, injectors out. Uh, i got a snake camera, put it down in those uh, in there and see if any fluid or you know water or condensation or something somehow got in there over the winter time. It was raining like crazy um, over the winter, along with uh, quite a few days of below freezing temperatures. So I don't know, maybe condensation got in. Uh, froze, rusted the rings. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know much about diesel. So it does have fluid, um, in the radiator. The oil is good. Everything checks out. There's no reason why it should be doing what it's doing just from sitting for three months. But, uh, my thought process is, is to, like I said, pull the injectors, snake uh, with a camera, look, see what I got down in there. If there's any fluid in there, water, whatever, condensation, suck that out of it and uh, fill it with some mystery oil, WD-40, or maybe even some automatic transmission fluid. Let that sit for a while and then try and bump the starter again to get the engine to turn. Maybe the uh, rings are stuck on the cylinder walls from, like I said, condensation or from sitting. I don't, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> V8 or gasoline engines is not something that uh, I've ever, it's ever happened uh, to me on. So something like this, I don't know if this is common for diesels in these old tractors or not. You diesel gurus or mechanics out there, let me know if I'm on the right track about uh, what I'm thinking about doing here with the uh, soaking the rings and stuff for a week or so. And then, uh, like I said, removing the valve cover and... Uh, Looking, maybe I have a maybe I have a stuck uh, a stuck valve or something on it. Who knows? But yeah, I'm kind of uh, reaching out here and seeing if anybody uh, has had this issue and if what I'm about to do, soaking the rings down, might actually uh, break it free and solve that problem. I, I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm hoping it's not a spun bearing or you know something like that that's just seize this engine up so i'm going to use the term stuck not seized <laughs> we'll see <laughs> but uh yeah i'm going to be needing the old girl here before too long so 
yeah, that's what I got going on. So any help, any help would be great. Anybody has any advice, uh, shoot it my way, leave a comment. Thanks, guys.